How do we measure a star's age? A celestial object burning millions to billions of years longer than a human lifetime. It's a question that sounds deceptively simple, but demands a symphony of science to answer. Unlike trees, stars don't have rings we can count. They don't come with birth certificates or expiration dates. Instead, astronomers become detectives, piecing together cosmic clues to uncover a star's past. One of the first hints lies in a star's color and brightness. Young hot stars often burn blue or white, blazing with energy. Older stars, having consumed more of their hydrogen fuel, cool and turn redder, glowing with a softer, more subdued light. This gradual color shift is like watching a fire slowly fade from blue to amber embers. Yet color alone doesn't give us the full picture. It's a clue, not a conclusion. To dig deeper, scientists use spectroscopy, the art of dissecting light. When we split a star's light through a prism or a spectrograph, we reveal its chemical fingerprint, what elements it's made of and in what proportions. Older stars tend to have fewer heavy elements because they formed when the universe itself was younger and less chemically enriched. This tells astronomers not only how old a single star might be, but also offers insight into the age of entire stellar generations. Another method involves looking at star clusters, groups of stars born from the same cloud of gas and dust. In such clusters, all stars are roughly the same age, but different in mass. By studying the brightest, most massive stars that are still burning versus those that have already died, scientists can estimate the cluster's age. It's like figuring out a classroom's age by seeing which students have just graduated and which are still in school. Still, no method is perfect. Measuring a star's age isn't an exact science. It's more of an educated estimate, grounded in models and observations that are constantly refined. But with each discovery, each improvement in telescopes and techniques, we inch closer to unlocking the timelines of the cosmos. In every flickering light across the sky, there's a story, ancient, unfolding, and waiting to be told.